Hi, I'm Paul Marsh, and today I want to talk about Easy Road 3D and how to create bridges, at least an introduction to it. So as you can see here, we've got our Unity project and we've got our little test scene here with the terrain and previously our old roads here. And just going to come in here and create a new road. So, um, get your road type, add new object, do shift click, shift click, and up the hill, shift click. So you can see here that Easy Roads wants to build up the terrain by default so it can make this road work. But we don't want that, we want a bridge. So bridges and in fact, most of other things that aren't just purely roads are done by something called side objects. So if you scroll down the road, you can see this little selection here, called side objects. So you open that. So you've got barriers, fences, walls, bridges, which is things we're interested in, props, terrain, lots of other things. So you can come in here and you can say, we just want a uh, simple bridge. And you open that and then you activate it. And immediately you see that we've got these uh, pillars that have sprung down. So rather than have the terrain build up, you've now got these pillars. And okay, they're sort of a bit odd. So you want to come in here and you want to sort of make adjustments to the road to make the pillars look a little bit more realistic. But there you can see you can got uh, you know, a relatively decent bridge. It's got some, um, it's already built up some sort of concrete barriers either side of the road. And it's taken us from our sort of hill one to hill two and covering over this um, little bit of a ravine here. So as you see, it's, it's pretty easy to create. Now that's all well and good, but where did this bridge come from? Um, and that's actually the really difficult bit was, is to create these side objects. So what I've done is I've created um, this prefab and that prefab comes from this exported scene. So if you click on this exported scene, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, it's got nothing to import. That's not very helpful. <laughs> um, I'll take you through building that. So what I've done previously and in this project, I have installed the Easy Roads 3D demo scene. So if we look at the, the demo scene, um, okay, save that. Come on, there we go. So this is the this is the Easy Roads demo, and it's got lots of really interesting things in it. Some nice features, and you've got bridges. You can see a bridge in the background, and stadium, and dirt tracks, and all sorts of interesting things. So what you can do is you can come in here and go to the road network, and you click this little sort of setup person-y thing. I'm not really sure what that icon supposed to represent. But, you can, but here you can see we've got all our fences, walls, etc., all our props. And you can hit this button here, which is export side objects. So in here we can select the things we want. So you might want to say, okay, we'll have some concrete barriers and I'll find uh, maybe a motorway bridge and any other things in here that I fancy. Um, lampposts, all these sorts of things that you might want to have in your um, in your project. So you can say export and then you can see where it's gone before. So I'll just say uh, bridge to demo. Okay, and now it creates an exported package. So bridge to demo. Okay, and now you've got that uh, exported package. It means that we can come back to our other scenes and chances are it won't work because I've got exactly the same um, components. We'll give it a go, see what it says. And you just double click this now. And yeah, it's telling me I've already got the things. <laughs> but if you've got, um, if you haven't got these elements in here, then it will 
it'll tell you that you can export them. And that's how you get those brought in. And then just quickly, so all you would do then is you come into the uh, your road network, you go back to this little setting thing, side object thing, and then you say import side objects, and then you just drag, uh, oops, not that one. You just drag the prefab package that your export created in here, and then you can just select which ones you want. Uh, obviously, I've already got all these that are all grayed out, but you can then select the ones you want, bring them in, and then you can start using those side objects in your project. So that's a very, uh, very quick introduction to bridges and side objects. I hope that allows you to uh, build bridges in your games. Thanks.